Fezi Miani volcano began erupting on March 15th. And about 48 hours ago, an explosive event sent an ash plume to 38,000 feet. Now, many people have never heard of this volcano. But it, in fact, is one of the volcanoes that, in recent memory, has erupted in spectacular fashion. Now, Beza Miani in Russian means unnamed, and it's an active stratovolcano in Kamchatka, Russia. Beza Miani volcano has been considered extinct until 1955. Activity started in 1955, culminating in a dramatic eruption on the 30th of March of 1956. This eruption, similar to that of Mount St. Helens in 1980, produced a large horseshoe-shaped crater that was formed by collapse of the summit and an associated lateral blast. Subsequent episodic but ongoing lava dome growth accompanied by intermittent explosive activity and pyroclastic flows, has largely filled that 1956 crater. Most of the recent eruptions of the lava flows occurred in February of 2013. An explosive eruption on the 20th of December 2017 released an ash plume rising to 50,000 feet, which drifted for kilometers. And this volcano has become quite active. Two events to 38,000, spreading ash across the entire Kamchatka Peninsula. Here's a picture of Bezimiani with the new lava growth since the 56 event, which eliminated this portion of the mountain as it blew off to the right. Now, according to Tokyo VAC, an ash plume from Bezimiani was visible in satellite images at 310 on 15th of March, drift, drifting west at an altitude of 16,000 feet, signifying renewed explosive activity. And by 6 o'clock UTC, ash plumes rose to 20,000 feet, and drifted south. Ash continued to be emitted throughout the day. The eruption intensified, and at 1322, ash plumes rose to 27,000 feet, and drifted southwest. Satellite images showed block and ash flows descending the southeast flank. This in was included with dense dark brown ash plumes rising along the path. Thermal an anomalies were visible at the summit and at the end of the flow. Then at 1750, possible ash plumes rose to 14,000 feet. Drifting west, ash emissions continue to be visible through satellite imagery. And activity again intensified just the other day. And on the 16th of March, ash plumes rose to 38,000 feet and began drifting northeast. Ash emissions are continuing today, which was tomorrow, the day after. So if you're interested, this is the entire Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. This is the end of the Aleutian chain. And these are some volcanoes in here. And Besamiani is right here in this uplift with multiple volcanoes in that region. Now, what we're going to see is the ash from this volcano has covered the entire Kamchatka Peninsula for hundreds of miles. There's a good picture of Besamiani puffing and another from the backside. And again, the location. The current status is erupting four out of five and the latest update was yesterday, so we're giving you some of the best and up-to-date information we could possibly find. It's a good video on the eruption itself. And there is Besamiani. There are two other volcanoes. Right next to it, actually multiple. There you can see five calderas, some much bigger than Besamiani. And we'll leave the links to all of this material below.
and coming from volcano time lapse is the only uh, footage that I can find of the actual eruption which occurred in the evening. And this is the 38,000 foot explosion, which is about to happen. You can see it's preceded by lots of pyroclastic flows and explosive strombolian type activity. And then something gives way there. You can see a big pyroclastic flow come down the flank there prior to the main explosion here. And then the huge blast. Waiting for some satellite images uh, to see what the amount of material that was removed during these explosions. And we'll bring them to you in another update. So a pretty substantial explosion there. BEI-3. And hopefully not a bigger event. And this is not a precursor to a bigger event. So we promised you the sat images of the ash. So here's the location of the volcano. And you can see that there are multiple ash patterns and from changing winds. But this goes all the way up to the top of the peninsula. Pr pretty substantial. Uh, and if we look at the eruptive history of Besamiani, a confirmed VEI-3 in 2010 is still ongoing today, according to this. VEI-3 in 2009, 2008, 2007, 2006, 2005, 2004. Are you picking it up? 3, 2002. So, pretty regular event in this area. But, and it's been erupting pretty wholeheartedly since the, the VEI-5 explosion in 1955. And prior to that, in the historical record, VEI-4 explosions were typical. So now you're up to speed on Besamiani. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a dystopian world where everything that the mainstream media provides you is propaganda. Be safe. We love you. That's a boom.